You know, it's really important to put high ingredient products on your motorcycle. Slick products, it's non-corrosive. Longevity is really important. You only want to put good gas in your bike, right? Well, the same needs to be for the cleaners, too. Hi and welcome to Dirt Bike Magazine's brand new video series, Year 21, where we take you up close and personal with all the 450cc motocross models available here in the US. Now Kawasaki introduced their motocross line a little while back. Today we're getting our first chance to see the bike in person and throw a leg over it. Today, we're gonna show you our first ride on the 2021 KX450. Kawasaki launched a brand new KX450 a couple years ago, and since then have just been refining the model. This year it's the same thing, just a couple more refinements. It got a dry film lubricating coating on the piston. It got a brand new style clutch. They're calling it the cone disc spring clutch that everything has an overall larger diameter for a little bit more performance. Cowie finally upgraded their handlebar. They finally went to a fat bar, which is one and one eighth. Mm -hmm. So as far as new stuff, that's about it for the bike this year. If you want all the in-depth specs, click the link in the description or head over to dirtbikemagazine.com. We're gonna go ride this thing and we'll be back a little bit later with a first impression. So we just finished our first day of testing here at Glen Helen. It was really, really rough on the track today. Um, so we got a good feel of what the bike can and can't do. This bike, we weren't expecting huge changes from last year because they didn't make a bunch of upgrades for this year. The clutch definitely has a lighter feel, clutch pull feel, but it engages a little bit harder. It locks in a little bit harder. So once it grabs, you know that it's going and then you have a little bit more positive feel in your fingertips. When you pull it in, you can tell exactly exactly when it's engaging and when it's disengaging. The test riders all like that. Suspension wise, we started off with 102, 101, 102 millimeters of sag. It kind of gave us bike a little bit of a back end push forward. So we settled in at about 105, 106 millimeters of sag in the, in the back, two clicks less of rebound to kind of slow it down a little bit. Um, the bar bend is different this year. They went to a, the, the fat bar. It's a little bit different bend. It's kind of swept back and a little bit lower than last year all the test riders rode it personally I had to put the bars up a little bit higher than than I would normally have to do the the Kawasaki bin really comfortable ergonomics the bike like we said hasn't changed a lot so we kind of knew what to expect and that's not a bad thing this bike won our 2020 450 motocross shootout and Kawasaki didn't do anything to hurt their chances of repeating that win in 2021 so this is still our first day of testing on this bike. This is the first time we've seen it, first time we've got to ride it. So we're gonna do a lot more testing on this motorcycle, take it to different tracks all around Southern California, 
and then eventually it will go into a shootout with all the other manufacturers 450 motocross bikes but check back to dirtbikemagazine.com for some updates and some of the information that we've figured out about the new 2021 model Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And for the, all the latest off-road and motocross industry news, head over to dirtbikemagazine.com. If you got a little bit more time on your hands, check out these brand new releases.